tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Hello, this is about bevels today. Bevel, Wikipedia, a beveled edge in the UK spelling it's spelled with two L's, which I prefer, haha, <laughs> or beveled edge uh, in US spelling refers to an edge of a structure that is not perpendicular to the faces of that piece. Oh, typical example here, this is the bevel. It would be usually uh, rectangular here at the side, but now it's cut off. This is a little bit poor, this article, I think, but uh, we can enhance it, of course, uh, as much as we please. So please get active in the Wikipedia, and uh, we need all kinds of languages for this uh, tool here. Sometimes it might be called chamfer, and uh, it's basically the same thing. Let's have a look here. It's this cutout here, and uh, could be going outside as well. It's a manipulation of edges or contacts of geometry. Now, the typical application is a type font, and uh, Maya has a very rich tool for beveling type fonts. When I enable uh, it for, from the um, menu here, from the attribute editor, I all of a sudden get quite a different structure makes the edges beveled, round that is. This of course is only possible with polygon modeling, so this is a polygon surface. And when I change these things now, I can get interesting results here. We're rendering in Arnold in the viewport here, that's why it's a little bit uh, lagging behind, but basically we get a good impression of the whole thing. Let's get a bit, little bit closer here, just to show you how the bevel might work goes outside now can move this inside here very interesting structures indeed with only a few clicks but uh, the bevel in the normal world of uh, NURBS modeling is a little bit different and I'll show you how to use it you need to be under modeling as opposed to animation for example because modeling the modeling menu set shows just the surfaces and these two curves and surfaces are the NURBS topics here. Under surfaces you find bevel and bevel plus and we won't use bevel which has been in Maya since uh, since version 1 I guess whereas bevel plus was introduced much later. So when you hover the mouse over bevel plus and look at the top left of your screen you see that Maya asks you to select curves, isopalms or other kind of curves. COS is cur uh, curves on surfaces. So it wants a curve before we start with this command. Let's create a curve right here. Just click a couple of times and now we have the curve selected and we could go, go to bevel plus. And it shows us an error message. And the reason for this error message is that the curve is not closed. Oh, they could have told us beforehand, but uh, well, I I'm telling you now. So I go to Control Vertex here in the with the right mouse click, and then I move the end points closer together, like this. And now I use curve snapping. This is the key C. When I press and hold C, this magnet goes down here. I'm pressing, now I'm holding, and uh, with this C held down, I can use curve snapping. You see now the end part or the beginning part of which I'm moving moves exactly on the curve because I'm holding uh, the key C. And I move it to the very end, and now you see all of a sudden a sur surface appears with a very nice bevel at the side. So now I can manipulate the curve by making it smaller. Press the key F so I'm getting closer to it. 
And this is the interesting object we have with this bevel. This is the bevel, the upper one, and this is the lower one. So let's have a look at what's really happening here. We have the curve selected, and here we have bevel plus in the attribute editor. If you don't see the attribute editor, just uh, use control A. And um, here are informations uh, about the curve shape, but this is the bevel plus which we've just applied. And uh, the bevel plus allows us to change things afterwards, after we applied it. For example, the bevel width. When you go to negative values, the bevel goes inside. And since we're trying out these things now, let's create a new material to have a little bit more aesthetics fun here with a standard surface shader okay so you remember how you got there bevel plus here with the attribute editor and um, here we change the the settings uh, for example the bevel depth the extrude distance now you have uh, still the bevel, but with the depth it gets much flatter. And here we have a really sophisticated, nice rounding. If you want to see it better, we just select this bevel plus node here. So we can see it right here. Now oh, let's go a little bit more into detail. Uh, Let's deactivate the end and the start bevel. So this is the original object. And now we have the bevel back. Do we want caps? Well, not necessarily. For example, when you're modeling things, don't model things which you don't render. We never look at the bottom of this object, really. And at the end, we could open or close this, or make it visible or not. And here, we have an interesting entry as well, because, of course, we're interested in other kind of bevel shapes. And the other kind of bevel shapes sit here. You click here on Outer Style Curve. It's badly documented in the Maya documentations, but here it is. And here, you have this sparse node here style so straight out is our current version here which because we used it in a negative way uh, it's a straight in basically so when we do this it's a straight in it's vice versa here and here you can uh, move from one to another As this is the convex out and this is the convex in you see it looks quite different here Actually, in order to get make it a little bit less irritating, let me go back to positive values again. So this is the concave out, concave in, the straight side edge. It's uh, quite a variety here with this option, for example. So when you go back to the original Bevel Plus node, you can change all these things again. Question is, how can this be a NURBS surface? Well, it isn't. It's a polygon surface. It's called Bevel Polygon. So how can we do this with a NURBS surface? Well, let's hide this object, the Bevel Polygon. So we just see the curve and duplicate the curve, Control D. And now we go to the options of Surfaces Bevel Plus. In the option box, you have the alternative to go to Bevel or Output Options. And the Output Options are uh, the, the section we're interested in now. Currently, Output is Polygons. And we can have an Output as NURBS. No further options and we can apply it. And you see that the top and bottom 
geometry is quite looking quite funky now because um, the NURBS to topology needs that in order to make that a proper surface here. And if you don't want to see the seams here with rendering, you need to change the tessellation, which is uh, covered in many tutorials here on YouTube and in some of my tutorials as well. So uh, this is the NURBS option here. So far so good. This was Bevel Plus. And the final animation I'm showing you now is a full of grain and uh, rendering noise because I didn't have time to use proper rendering settings. The anti-aliasing is very low and Arnold still did quite a good job. Bye-bye.